Hey, you guys. How you doing? Nice to see you. Glad you're here. Glad I'm here as well. Here on planter number three of my planter series. I'm excited. Uh, plan on this video going up on Friday. Have you had a good Friday so far? Today is actually Friday of last week. This, this is past me uh, making a video for future me to post next Friday. That's the plan anyways. That, that might not happen. Uh, if that does not happen for some reason, please disregard the things that I said in the last 30 seconds or so. But I hope you're having a good Friday and that that I just said. All right, part three, number three of my series of planters. Oh boy. Oh, oh yeah, I better intro this. So if you aren't, haven't seen the last couple of videos this week, I'm working on a series of planters in my old style of pottery. This was a time when I just let the clay kind of direct what it wanted me to do to it. The, the goal is to make a face. That face will be very, very unique. I, I make faces now still too. See, this is like my day-to-day -day work right here. But I wanted to throw it back and actually you know, do just get in there and do some sculpting. That's what this series is about. And maybe I'll just keep doing it, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm pumped about it right now. We're gonna start off this throw. Uh, our goal, uh, in the last one I, I made a, a wider planter and I've made one a kind of medium. I think I want to take this one vertical and then just see where I want to go from there. The first one I did was just about as narrow as I want to do a planter. But I'm going to take this one up vertical and then probably land it somewhere between the two that I've made. But for this series, so I'm just going to let the clay tell me what to do. See what feels right. So we started off by coning up. That just gets the clay spinning in the right direction. Now we're going to open. I'm poking a hole until I get almost to the bottom. I, I leave about that much. Depending on the piece on these planters, I'm gonna leave them a little bit thicker on the bottom, just because I, I think that's gonna work better for a planter. I want that thing to sit solid and not be tippy. No tippy planter. Oh, you know what I could do? I could go out wide and then come in narrow on this one. Now we'll just see what happens. I'm gonna go pretty much straight up. I'll kind of pull it in a little bit and we'll go from there. First pull, I'm just pinching between my fingers. Grab a little bit of that clay, move up the side. I have my inside hand up a little higher than my outside hand to kind of direct that clay towards the inside. And I'm kind of pulling towards the middle. Oh. You have to do that to kind of counteract the centrifugal force. Even if you're wanting a straight up and down wall, you kind of pull towards the inside anyways. I kind of, you know what? I kind of like that shape starting wide, coming in, and then coming back out. That's pretty neat. Let's do that. That's where this one is leading me. I'm being led by the clay to mix this one up a little bit. All right, that's about right thickness wise, where we want to be. And now we just work on the shaping. Do I want to take the rib to it? And then do I want to match it from top to bottom? No, I don't think it necessarily has to match top to bottom. Kind of like that right there, personally. What do you think? You like this shape? Leave a comment. Have you enjoyed the planter series so far? If you've been watching them? I'm excited. Try to get these done, get some plants in them. Also, another question, if this is indeed Friday, what was the coolest thing you did this week? I don't know yet, because I'm still in the past, currently, right here. But if you're in the live chat, if I'm in the live chat with you, because I typically do premieres, I'll let you guys know there. All right, or on my live streams. If you haven't seen those, check those out. I stream most weekdays from 12 to 3. All right, I think, I think I'm digging it. That'll do. And I have to come back in and make some drip plates for these. That's no big deal. I may record that in a little while, right, if I have the time to do that today. The drip plates are fairly yeah, fairly straightforward. Not a whole lot to them. Not very, uh, they're, they're very, very quick throws. All right, I just put the drainage hole in the bottom of this planter. I'll hold that up and show you guys in just a second. That's the last step. Looks like it's trimmed good. Remove it from the wheel. All right, yeah, I like the shape of that one. That'll do, you can see that uh, drainage hole in there. All right, I'll catch you guys over there. I'll put the faces on these guys. Woohoo! Okay, here we are at the putting the faces on the things station of my studio. This is the same place where I put the, put the faces on my cups. And this is the same wire tool that I use a lot of the time. Although this one is, as I said in my previous videos for the week, terrible and about to have to be retired. It's all kind of gnarled up. Starting to get some frays in it. Not ideal. All right, do I need a bat to pull this guy up? Ah, we got it. We're gonna misshape and make this thing all cattywampus anyways, putting the face on it, so. 
that'll do. All right, step one, real easy, just trim it up, smooth it up. We're gonna press in a shallow footer on the bottom so it sits nice and even on the surface, probably on the drip plate. Earlier this week in the video, I said something about sitting it on the table. Most likely these are gonna be on drip plates. All right, nice and smooth. Pick it up and show you guys. I'm kind of a, an awkward angle. Let's roll over, see what I've done there. So next up, we're gonna sign this piece. I'm gonna put my initials and the year. Let's see what the bottom of this bat. Yeah, that's gonna be better to work with because if I stick it back down right where it was, it'll re-adhere because of the wet clay. All right, what kind of face are we gonna put on this guy? I had an idea of what I was gonna do on the first two, but not so much on this one. This one's gonna be kind of a, just figuring it out as, as I go along, okay? I think I'm gonna start this one. I started the first one with the nose. I started the second one with the mouth. I'm gonna start this one with one eye socket over on this side. And I kinda of have an idea of, I'm starting to get an idea of what I wanna go for with this one. And I want the nose to kinda of come down. I want this one to kinda of be slanted, the entire face. So we'll probably come in here with the nose, kind of a average person size nose. Come down here with this eye socket. Maybe this one be a little bit smaller. Yeah, I'm digging it. I like the asymmetry personally. And maybe this eye socket just be really big. Cool. And I haven't put any teeth on these yet. Maybe we'll save that for next week if I do another series of these. I think I'm, I'm thinking about doing some larger planters next week. If these go well, if these turn out well. Because uh, I've had a lot of fun recording these videos. I've not spent much time making this style of piece for a good many years now. I am a little out of practice, I've noticed, as I've been making these. If you uh, checked out the last video, the last one, it came a pretty good storm during the recording of that. I'm, I'm hoping, I, I might have to go back and record a voiceover for that one, honestly. It got real loud in here. I'm gonna try to get this guy done real quick with the break in the weather. <laughs> if it comes back again, it gets so loud in my studio. Oh, there was some thunder. I don't know if the mic picks up the thunder or not. All right, so there's our upper lip. Let's go ahead and add a add a little lower lip to this guy. So, I, oh, I haven't showed you guys what I brought with me. So I brought with me some white clay. That'll be for the eyes. Uh, a little extra brown clay, which I've just torn a piece off for my lower lip. I'm going to be using this. Uh, this is my marking tool. It's what I sign everything with. It's got little um, silicone tips on it. It's fantastic for carving in clay. One of my favorite tools. Got a cutting tool, probably won't use that. And I will be using this, my scoring tool, more than likely. Well, will I own this? No, probably won't. Uh, I think I didn't even use it on my last one. Uh, I only use the scoring tool if I'm attaching like big surfaces to big surfaces. Uh, for this little stuff like this lip, completely unnecessary. Although I do use a little bit of uh, slurry or slip. This is basically just the runoff from the pottery wheel. I keep it in a little bucket at my assembly station and fill it up when it goes empty. I have more slurry than I could ever need. Let's go on here with our lower lip. Hey, if you guys have been uh, watching this series of planters, let me know what you think about them. This will be three out of three on this one. If you have suggestions for me, I still haven't really figured out the long form content on my channel. I, I've been using it pretty much the whole time as kind of an outlet for me to make larger pieces. As I stated kind of earlier in the week, I, I essentially make thousands and thousands of coffee mugs with my silly googly eyed faces. That's my main jam. That's what I'm known for. Uh, before that, I made pieces like this. I was more into stuff like this, making little figures, just straight sculpting, just taking the clay and seeing where it leads me, which is what I do with these. I kind of follow the lines, pay attention to how the clay is moving, and that kind of guides me in these sculptures. All right, so let's go. I think it's time to get us some eyeballs on there. Well, maybe a little chin. Get my finger down in there. Smooth that over, pushed it a little too hard. Yeah, a little chin. It'll kind of just go on down to the bottom, this line here. All right. Get some eye sockets. I'm going to push these. Push it in and uh, kind of clean up the excess. Get the little excess clay off of there. Just with my finger. Top down camera would be beneficial for this. And if I don't pull it out, I just like smooth it up or to the side. Make sure it's nice and clean. 
and ready for me to poke the eyelids back through the other direction. He's crying. You see that tear rolling down his face? He's like, ow, it hurts. Don't poke me in the eye. I'm pretty sure I would tear up like that if I was being poked in the eye as well. All right. I may actually get some eyebrows on this guy. I wouldn't put any on the other ones. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. All right, we got it nice and smoothed. Let's check out the profile view so far. I like it. Maybe go in with that. We won't be able to go in with that chin a whole lot. Interesting side view, though. All right, eyelid time. I did, on my first piece this week, my eyes were not super great. I need to work on that a little bit. Second piece, they got a little bit better. Maybe third time's a charm. Like I said earlier, I'm kind of out of practice on making these. Kind of, I try to keep a nice straight line as I'm pushing these through. Thunder! Maybe fix that line just a little bit. And from the bottom there, want this one to fold over a little better. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. All right, let's do this one. Got a little more room to work over here. Wider eye socket. Cool. All right, that'll do. I'm digging the cattywampusness. That's a technical term right there, cattywampus. Pinch his nose a bit. Yeah. All right, let's put some eyeballs in there. And then my socket, except they're not gonna be balls at all. Here's the white clay. I'm gonna do here, just a little roll. And I flatten out a disc. And I get the shape of the uh, eyeball by you know, pushing it through. I push it back into the round once it's flattened on there. I have made them and just like left them a ball of clay and stuck them in. But uh, I don't like the attachment as well. I can't get a good, they're, they're way fragile. I don't want these to be that way. It might be a good solution to just come back in and glue the piece in there. I mean, these are going to be planters anyways. Smoothing things from the back side, making sure we're good and attached. And pretty good seal. It, it could seep a little bit. And being, these being planters. Thunder! I wonder if it's going to start raining like crazy again. Seriously, I, I don't know if my audio even recorded in my last video because it was raining so hard. <laughs> hey, can't control the weather. Although I'm hoping this little storm is going to cool us off a bit. I've complained about that in all three of these videos that I just recorded. I, I do believe. <laughs> I'm hot. I'm dripping. I'm dripping sweat. My studio gets very hot. I, I actually don't have an air conditioner because my studio is in an old uh, meat store. So like uh, probably 60% or more of this building was walk-in coolers and had refrigeration all throughout. So the central air does not carry the building. And I've been too cheap to do anything about it. I'm like, I can just be hot for a little while. No big deal. But uh, I'm getting to the point in my career where I'm like, eh, you know, maybe, maybe I could uh, afford to spend a little money on some air conditioning. Let's take this brow ridge. Put a little emphasis there. And we're going to come across right here. I want to put some ridges in this nice big forehead. We have more forehead space than we had in the last one. This is the fun part to me. Pushing and pulling the clay. Got to be careful with the rim. It's a bit drier than the rest of the piece. All right, down here. Should I come on around the pot with some ridges? That's kind of cool. Start right here. And this over here will be, these will be smaller. Like how it kind of, it's kind of following the form of the, uh, the piece. The way it goes in, it comes back out. All right, come in, sponge. Smoothing the things out a bit. Oh yeah. You know, I think that guy's done. <laughs> I'm digging his profile. Hey, you guys. Thank you so very much for watching my video today, for hanging with me. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, I live stream. Uh, I do my silly uh, face pottery, the stuff on those shelves over there on my, uh, my live stream. That's weekdays, 12 p.m. to 2.30 or 3-ish central time. And uh, let me know what you think about this series. This is kind of a new thing for me. I've always done like not my normal work on my long form videos. And I really have enjoyed having that outlet, like making some bigger pieces. but. This series is an attempt to get back into making the big pieces and also taking it the rest of the way to more uh, uh, sculptural aspirations. The first thing that drew me to clay, in fact, was the sculpture side of thing. I was not very good at the pottery wheel. I didn't really like the pottery wheel very much right at the beginning. Once I started being able to use it as like a blank canvas to put my faces on, I, I really fell in love with it more and more and uh, getting reacquainted with it. Oh, here comes the rain again. Hope you guys have fantastically phenomenal days. Please like, please subscribe, please come hang out with me again, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!